Hi, my name is Alex Fleischman, and welcome to the video overview for the Newton's First Law of Motion demonstration. This demonstration will allow students to discover Newton's First Law of Motion. Let's visit the laboratory. Trial 1 deals with both sides of the U ramp equally inclinated. So how fast was the ball before it was released? Well, it was not moving, so the velocity is zero. What happened to the ball when it was released from rest? Well, the ball rolled down the ramp and up to the same height it was released. Well, what pulls the ball back down the ramp? Well, the force of gravity pulls it back down the ramp. Well, which way is the force of gravity acting on the ball? The force of gravity is acting downward. Well, what slows the ball down as it rolls up the ramp? Well, the force of gravity slows down the ball. Well, we can therefore state that the force of gravity affected the speed of the ball. Alright, part two. Now one side of the U-shaped ramp is inclinated. If the ramp was elevated on one side, what will the ball do when dropped from the same position? Well, the ball will roll further until it reaches the same height it was released at. What caused the ball to pick up speed going down the ramp and slow down going up? Well, this is all due to the effects of the force of gravity. Trial 3. The ramp is now inclinated so one side is perfectly flat. Well, why did the ball keep going instead of stopping like in the last two trials? Well, the force of gravity acted downward on the object. Since the ball never tries to go up the ramp, the force of gravity will not slow it down. Let's come up with a simple generalization about the ball's motion. When the ball sped up or slowed down, the force of gravity was affecting in or opposite the direction of the ball's motion. Well, the force of gravity always opposed the direction of the ball's motion. So, we could state that a ball in motion will stay in motion, and a ball at rest will stay at rest unless acted on by an external force. This is called Newton's first law of motion.